Hey everyone, what up? Matt Kaiser here, and welcome to another Demo First Impressions video. And the game in particular I'll be talking about is Valkyrie Elysium. Now, Valkyrie Elysium is an interesting one, as it's an upcoming action RPG from Square Enix and made by a team known as Soleil. The people that gave us so uh was it semi jack battle for time which was pretty good and also now total bro toshinobi striker and those people are made from former members of ninja gaiden and as such this game is more of a spin-off to the valkyrie profile series where in those games they use more of an interesting turn-burst style combat and are made by tri ace same guys that give us Star Ocean and are working on the new Star Ocean game. While this one, of course, is more of an action RPG spin off and it's made by a different team entirely. Now, with that background out of the way, here's another PSA, and that is I played a demo of this, and this is coming from a guy who's never played the Valkyrie Profile games at all. It's just me judging it as what it feels like as an action RPG and nothing more, nothing less. Anyway, here is my impressions. So let's begin off with the presentation and I just say, for a double A game, it looks actually pretty nice. Like I love the environments, they all look very pretty. I do enjoy even some of the character models now as I did as much more than I did in like the first reveal trailer but they have improved a bit and yeah it uses Unreal Engine 4 which I really love and yeah I just think it looks pretty neat like it's not gonna be like groundbreaking or anything but for what it is I just really enjoy it and other than that yeah Performance wise I think it ran well with 60 FPS but the only problem I feel like is that this game from what I can see is that well it doesn't seem to have a performance or graphics mode and from what I can tell the frame rate does dip in some places so it's not consistent as I would say. So he's hoping that this game does actually, you know, like the full game does get, you know, a performance or graphics mode like both compared to tons of cross-gen games at this point. Other than that, well, I just, well, other than that, there's also a bit of a story. And to be honest, this game so far doesn't have too much heavy emphasis of it so far. Now, of course, there's... Uh, demo is an hour and a half along, so it's about one, about one hour and thirty minutes long, from what I can tell and experience. And yeah, this game seems to be more linear and mo and mission based, from what it seems. So yeah, so it's not like it's gonna be like exploration or combat exploration. You just gonna go to an area for like a world map kind of thing. You pick a mission, whether it's for main story or side quest, and that's what you do. So yeah. Anyway, I think I think the selling point of this game is more so the combat. Now, of course, Valkyrie Elysium is plays similar to you know what an action game does. Like you have you know your normal attack that would and pursuing them will do you know combos, and you have one heavy attack, and if you use a different combination of all them you can do multiple combos now the it does feel very fast paced and fluid but i have to say the interesting thing about this is mainly the soul chain now this soul chain mechanic allows you to not only traverse through areas with this magical whip but also yeah this just looks pretty damn good like it just look, feels so good like not only can help you traverse through areas and like get you to tight spots and all that stuff but it's also been used for combat so it's similar to like say spider-man's like web swinging in marvel spider-man and every spider-man game actually as well as other things like kingdom Hearts freeze air step final fantasy 15's warp strike star ocean 6's new vanguard assault as well as even i uh, think that final fantasy 16's new warp phase or whatever it's called 
but yeah how to say with that it just keeps the flow going keeps combat glowing and using it multiple times on enemies just you know keeps the gameplay look just more interesting to be honest and you have like you know your air combos as well which honestly every combat in this game just does feel pretty nice it just feels pretty damn cool now, of course you have your dodge and your guard button with dodge giving you iframes of course dodging at the right time as well as things like you know guard like guard will give you iframes of course but you can't spam guard as guard is limited so the more times you guard and you know more time enemies they'll break your guard yeah, you just need to guard at the right time. So it tests you when to guard and when to dodge, doing most enemy counters and the bosses. Now, of course, there are other things it has, like this meat, this blue meter, which is like your soul art meter and your di orange diamonds. That's like an art meter. The art meter allows you to like use like divine arts, like say magic for example. And on like the I think on like the big diamond screen here, all you see is like like divine arts. Like one would have like a fire magic, one would have healing, one will also have like lightning. And yeah, it's just wow. Like obviously you can't spam it, so you need to stret you need to think what to use. And certain enemies will have like weaknesses, different elemental weaknesses. Like some of them will be weak to fire, some of them will be weak to uh, lightning, some of them will be weak to ice, all that stuff. And it's also puzzle bosses. And if you use the right magic against them, they will be stunned, crushed, and some of them will be immobilized, especially in the case for bosses, which kind of reminds me of say the stagger meter from Final Fantasy 7 remake in a sense. Gee, I wonder if other Square X games are taking cues from that. Uh, and also there's these things called inheritors. Now what these inheritors are are basically like your party members that will you know do like elemental attacks and help you doing combat. And if you have like you know enough if your soul level is high enough, which is a blue meter, you can activate them and they'll, you know, help you doing combat. They can never die though, so that's pretty nice. Other things they also have is, of course, Valkyrie Elysium also has a skill tree, which obviously I love. And how you get skills is by getting like through like materials, like say all the gems that you get through like treasure chests breakable boxes and just killing enemies and this can also level up you know Valkyrie's skills from her attack, her magic and her defense in a sense as well as giving her health and the more you increase she will access to new skills, new combos as well as new magic and all that kind of stuff as well as Traversing through if you be like say bosses or go through special treasure chests You also learn more divine arts like it will give you more magic to use which is also pretty nice There's also other things like how this game There was these special key these special crystals which well if this game If you go to them it will not only restore your health but it can also let you save manually as well as do things like return to Valhalla, like return to the hub world, which it is, as well as even, well, you know, also upgrade your weapons like you have. And some of them you will find. In my playthrough, I obviously found two weapons. Obviously, like the main weapon I already have during the base, like in the main game, and then after being the boss, you get the other weapon, I believe. And yeah, I just say it plays nice. Now, of course, there is some side quests. Of course, even though it's just probably just one, and from what I can tell, it's not really too special. And I feel like you beat, you can beat them like after, like beat them on their own. Like it's basically, as I said, it's more mission based of anything. Like if you beat, like after you beat the story level and you gain a side quest on the way through. You can like you know go back and do a side quest individually but yeah other than that overall i say it's pretty solid there's also of course chapter one had a 
boss that was pretty tough, and I was trying to learn the patterns, and it was a bit hard to read it sometimes. And also with enemies, they will have this red glow effect, which will have like you know unguardable attacks. So you need to dodge at the right time. Ah, uh, there's not much to say. Like sure, this game didn't. Sure, the first mission didn't have too much on story, emphasis as much as I would have hoped, despite the interesting premise, and the fact that other than the frame rate, there's also things like this game does suffer a bit from having you know combo cancelling. So, if you do combo for long, you're not going to get out of it, and you might get hit. So you need to time when to combo quickly. Like it's all about strategy in this. Uh, well, the music is also pretty nice. I mean, this is my Toy Sakuraba we're talking about, and from what I can tell, I like the main theme. I like the music when you're exploring, and the combat music is pretty solid, I would say. So overall, based on all my experience from the demo, I say I had a good time with this game. And of course, like all other Square Enix games, you can transfer your save to the full game. So that's always awesome. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. Sure, it's not really perfect, mind you. And to be honest, this game is more of going to be more of an enjoyable experience. If anything, like I'm not expecting it to be groundbreaking or anything. I was more into having a good time with it, and I can definitely say that Valkyrie Elysium, me to me at least, gave me a good time. Now, whether if you're a Valkyrie profile fan. Or you never played the series and just interested in action RPG, play, play the demo and see what you make of it. But anyway, that's gonna be for me, guys. So anyway, so let me know in the comments down below. Link, did you guys play this demo already? Are you gonna get the full game now, or are you gonna wait for a sale, or are you just not interested? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. So punch that like button, drop that comment. And hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mad Kaiser out.